What's up guys, Short Thief Ripper here. You know the drill, bringing you another vlog. If you didn't see the last video, um, then you'll know it still has been a while since I posted. It's been about a month. I explained in the last video, literally we just didn't do anything in December. There was no installs to do, nothing happened in December. December was pretty dead. We had a lot of stuff coming. So like I got a bunch of stuff for my truck and Brian got a bunch of stuff coming from his truck for his truck. And the last video is actually on the van, so we did some stuff to the van finally, and my trans will be done soon. If not, it's already done by the time you're watching this video. There's stuff to do, it's just all been happening at once, and it had to all come during December. Nothing happened during December. So anyway, enough talking, we're here at Ryan's right now. If you can't tell by the title of this video, I don't know what I'm gonna title yet. Um, we're gonna install a rocker trunnion kit, because he is camming his truck, and I'm camming my truck too, but uh, he's camming his pretty soon here, and he'll do a better job explaining it of what exactly it is, but this is kind of something to do when you're messing with your valve train and everything. It's kind of nice, so we, I will go in there, and I'll let him do kind of some explaining, and we'll show you how to do it. I guess we're doing this install in the dark. Here's the... Man, the myth, the not so much of a legend. <laughs> Definitely not a legend. <laughs> I explained them in the truck what we were doing, but why don't you go ahead and give them a rundown. Putting a rocker training kit in. What does that well, do? It's basically because LSs have, on the back of your rockers, there's a captured needle bearing on the, on the rocker pivot. And with aftermarket cams, they can tend to uh, spit those out because there's no actual, there's press fit in there, they can pop out. They're just kind of like, they're held in there by friction, but with a, with a lot of spring pressure in that, they can mm -hmm. pop the, the caps off and it's on needle bearings for your motor, which is no bueno. All right, there's the rocker training kit. And these will go on. I, don't, I can't remember if they go on this way or this way. I gotta read the instructions again. But they essentially replace the stock rocker trunnion. They slide on there, and then these snap rings go on the end. That's what it pivots on. And these grooves will hold oil on that. You'll be able to see it really well once we it makes put fun. it on. <laughs> Gonna see what Ryan's engine looks like for the first time. Oh man, I'm scared. <laughs> what if it's worse than my vans? That would be bad. <laughs> be like, oh, good thing we're putting a cam in it. <laughs> so that was kind of nice when I opened up the engine of my car at like 180,000. We've ran, our, like, we've ran good oil in it for 100,000. So like, even taking the valve covers off, it was just mint. <sighs> That was good, stuck on. That man. was pretty good. That was you got good. a light? I'll shine it on there um, while you're doing this. I can't get the. Actually, right here's a good light. That's a really good light. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's mint looking in there. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> it smells like ethanol. You get that kind of ethanol y smell. That's really clean looking in there. For 130,000 miles, it looks pretty good. Just really just regular oil staining. That makes me really happy to see. That was tight. Pull the first rocker off. Alright. There's one. So this is what I'm talking about. This cap is just pressed on here and there's roller needle bearings inside here. So you press these cap, you press this whole Rocker trunnion out, you can reuse, you reuse it stock bolts. And then, you can't see them in there, but then you use those bushings and put them on in the same, in this factory rocker. And what's, what are those? Those are, what? Like these are needle bearing, what are those? Those are just bronze bushings. Oh, okay. Kind of gives you a look at the health of the engine. All right, we need a place to put these. Like it. These sit in here like this. This is the cap. These bearings sit in here like that, and the trunnion rides in there like that mm -hmm. from factory. All those could be in your motor if one of them gave out. Well, we got brake clean. Okay, yeah, may as well. What do you got to lose? Right there. All right, so we're trying this. In, we did one in the vice already. We're gonna show you how we did it. So this is a seven eighths. Is that what that is? Yeah, seven eighths, and that's nice. Seven eighths that holds it the outside. Holds the outside shell of it. And then the 916 pushes it in. Right there. Keep going. 
I'll back off a little bit, just so I can loosely, so I can line everything up. Loosen up just a hair. Loosen up just a hair. A little bit more. more. I'm kind of cockeyed, that's why. Okay, there we go. Tighten Good. Her up. Yep. It's hard to do in the cord. Yeah. I was wondering why you were doing it anyway, but I figured I'd let you have your moment. There it goes. There it goes. Completely. So that's our the inner like rings. that's the trunnion right there and the needle bearings sit on this right yeah yeah so then this it, sits on here rides on the trunnion. and then the needle bearings sit in this and go on here and then it rotates back and forth so then Tom makes ones these push. ones have these ones are just bronze bushings bronze bushings you know it really bugs me no bearings so i'll show you how it goes back together it goes together really easy <laughs> assembly lube you can use motor oil too but like the assembly lube is tacky take this here and this sets in there like that and you can take your trunnion I don't really like the nozzle on this bottle. <laughs> Keep that there. Drop that there like that. Ah oh, crap, I didn't check that. I'm gonna check to make sure the sharp side is it. There's a inside and out on the inside damper there's a sharp edge and a kind of dull edge. And you want the sharp edge facing away from the bushing so it doesn't chew on the bushing. Other side real quick. And that one's assembled. Really easy. The new Trunnions are actually way beefier. Like if you want to grab a factory trunnion, these are. Way oh yeah. The beef. That's a solid piece of steel, or steel or whatever. There. That's way beefier <laughs> than that is. That's gonna take a lot more abuse. Sure is. Sweet. We can do one more, I guess. Yeah, we can do a couple more, or one more at least, and. Alright guys, it is now day two. Um, yesterday we pretty much just took him apart and everything. Um, and we were going to take him into his work to clean him up and press him out. But we ended up just doing it with a vice anyway. And uh, everything's going well so we went to work. We went to his work today and cleaned up the valve covers and stuff. Um, but other than that, here's the valve covers all cleaned up. But otherwise we're just trucking along it headshot nothing uh putting these together with the new rocker trunnions after that we'll throw them in the truck
we've got them all assembled. Now you gotta throw your shaft or your thing in there. And we'll start putting them on. Throw my shaft in here. guys long story short uh, Brian cleaned the valve we went to Ryan's work and cleaned the valve covers today and the numb nuts forgot his oil cap at bed. work and it's closed and it's a Saturday that's awesome way to go boss who else worst, worst comes to worst I'll take a rubber glove and zip tie it around there so I can drive it yeah on our way on the way to like my house or something we'll just grab the one off the van Jeez. Can't have anything nice. Can't have anything nice. I still can't believe I did that. All right, you ready to fire this thing up yet? No, I need Oh yeah, we gotta make a, we gotta make an oil cap uh, for a couple miles. <laughs> wow, dude, this looks great under here, honestly. <laughs> this looks really professional. It's Who built your motor, dude? <laughs> Um, <laughs> my doctor did. Oh, oh, oh. Still there. <laughs> You'll have that. <laughs> the club's like, er, er, er. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm gonna build oil pressure first. Sure. Is it missing? Check engine lights flash. Something, right? If you check engine lights flashing, that means it's it's kind of missed or something. Yeah. I felt like it missed at first. It, I was holding the engine. It felt it felt like it was. Yeah. You got your thing. You can tell what code it is. Yeah, I know. What you saying, guy? I haven't even checked the codes yet. <laughs> well, pitter patter. Cylinder seven misfire. Your side, guy. Yeah, well, I had them all plugged in, and this one is plugged in. Push it, push it harder. I have. I'll take it out, take it out, plug it back in. It was plugged in. <laughs> all right. Right? Yeah. It feels like it's running a lot better. That, that usually does that for some reason. And you want to mess wires? Yeah, some do. Alright. Fire for high school. Yeah, it ain't missing, no. It was plugged in, dude, I don't know. It ain't gonna go in very far, but sounds good to me. Otherwise, don't make no noise. Nope. Sounds good. 
Don't sound like a ticking time bomb. Nope. I actually feel like it's almost quieter for some reason. I could, it could just be wrong. But... Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're the van, the van to the rescue. Let me tell you. Cheese, oh Pete's, dude. Yeah, hoods are hard, I understand. Oh, it's very it's hard. One. I thought it was a sideways one. There you go, guy. He even says the right oil. <laughs> well, it's the same. I know. <laughs> Damn near the same engine. You watch, it doesn't fit for some. It'll fit. They're all the same. Caps are all the same. <laughs> this is great. This thing should be on the road uh, the next week for sure. Because uh, the tranny should be done. We did the rear main and the oil pan. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah. Did the remain oil pan, so put the trans back in, put a battery in it, and oil. <laughs> Should be good to go rock and roll. Good, so now we can do a pull. We can do a rip. Pull out of here and just let her eat. <laughs> it's nice and warmed up. It still sounds good, no ticky. Oops. Right, guys so to end the video uh, we just got done washing the trucks in <laughs> we just got done washing the trucks in 32 degree weather um, so it's kind of a pain uh, because water's freezing on us and not only that it was every, <laughs> look look at this every time we would like spray the trucks down the water underneath us would freeze so we're slipping and sliding almost busted our ass a million times but they look good now they were full of salt and stuff and i hate i hate that in the winter truck is so nasty i can't you can't have anything nice but uh i think this is where i'm gonna end it here putting the rocker training kit on ryan's truck that was a success like i said i guess that uh i guess the coil uh, wire just wasn't on there good enough. I must have not pushed it on there hard enough, but I swear I did. Um, but otherwise, truck's running good. And this is just in preparation for the cam. Uh, he's doing cam. I'm doing cam. Before before this summer, we take these to the track. Trucks are going to get changed a whole lot. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I will answer them the best I can. Um, but otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next vlog.